Assembling the stacker antenna. After opening the stacker antenna, check for damage and make sure all parts are accounted for. For missing parts or damage, email us at dithica at msn.com. Take the UHF section of the stacker, remove the nut and bolt from the end of the UHF section. Inside of the boom, there is a piece of metal. Remove it, then slide the two UHF sections together. Once the holes are aligned, secure the two sections with the nut and bolts, as shown. Now, take the reflector and rotate two of the elements with the metal clips pointing away from the two holes at the end of the reflector as shown. Now, making sure the reflector faces the same way as in the video, slide it in between the two metal plates. Then, after the hole is aligned, insert the nut and bolt, then tighten. Attach the second reflector in the same manner. Now proceed to fold out the tetra poles as shown. Now take a metal bracket and U-bolt and assemble as shown. Now, take the VHF section of the antenna, that is the largest, at the end of it there will be an element. Remove it, then inside of the boom there will be a metal piece. Remove that, then slide the two VHF sections together, replacing back the elements as it was previously to hold the two sections together. Now, take the UHF section and with the small elements facing up towards you, as seen. Now, take the brace and attach it to the UHF section of the antenna, as shown. Now, take the two rectangular pieces of metal and attach, as shown. Now attach the brace and the VHF section together using a nut and bolt as shown.
Then attach the VHF section and the reflector together as shown. Now place one washer on each post. Now slide the twin lead cable through the plastic supports. Then slide the ends of the twin lead over top of the posts. Then place one more washer on each post. Then attach one nut to each post as shown. making sure not to twist the twin lead. Now slide twin lead through plastic retainer Now place one washer on each post as before. Attach the ends of the twin lead to the post. Place one more washer on each post as before. Then attach one nut to each post as shown. Make sure that the ends of the twin lead are not touching the boom. As before, place one washer on each post. Then, attach the ends of the transformer to the post. Place one more washer on each post, then nuts, as shown. Now take U-bolt and plate and attach as shown. Now take end caps and insert them into the ends of the booms. 